The tragic death of George Floyd has brought concerns over racial injustice in the United States, and many influencers and celebrities speak out. Before I get into the story, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to the people mentioned in this video. In the comments, please be constructive and have a dialogue. Do not be hateful. We will also be including links in the description to places where you can learn more about anti-racism and donate to organizations that are actively fighting for change. On May 25th, George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man, died after being arrested by police outside a store in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Leading up to the arrest, Floyd was making a purchase at Cup Foods grocery store, but an employee believed he was paying with a counterfeit bill and reported it to the police. Four police officers arrived on scene. Derek Chauvin, a 44-year-old white police officer, pinned Floyd to the ground and kneeled on his neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Floyd said he couldn't breathe, but Chauvin continued to kneel on him. Forensic pathologist Dr. Michael Baden, one of the doctors who participated in a private autopsy commissioned by Floyd's family, said, George Floyd died many minutes before he was transferred to a stretcher and taken to a Minneapolis hospital. Many people believe Floyd died while Chauvin was kneeling on his neck due to the videos of the incident circulating online. During the incident, three other police officers were on scene. One stood by, and two helped pin Floyd down. Videos of the incident circulated social media and sparked outrage against against police brutality and racial injustice, leading to protests, rioting, and looting. On June 1st, the Floyd family autopsy results were released, classifying the death as a homicide. He died not just because of the knee on his neck, but also because of two other officers who helped pin him down by applying pressure on his back. The cause of death, according to the private autopsy, was mechanical asphyxia and the manner of death was homicide. After the family's autopsy findings were announced, the Hennepin County Medical Examiner released their own findings, also concluding the cause of death as homicide. According to CNN, Chauvin has since been charged with third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter. The other three officers on scene had not been charged as of June 1st, but they were fired from the Minneapolis Police Department along with Chauvin. However, by June 3rd, the three officers were charged with aiding and abetting murder. Also on June 3rd, Chauvin received a more serious charge of second-degree murder in addition to his other existing charges. Many influencers and celebrities shared their stance on the situation. Rihanna questioned the consequences for Chauvin. If intentional murder is the fit consequence for drugs or resisting arrest, then what's the fit consequence for murder? Beyonce spoke about racial injustice. We need justice for George Floyd. We all witnessed his murder in broad daylight. We're broken and we're disgusted. We cannot normalize this pain. I'm not only speaking to people of color. If you're white, black, brown, or anything in between, I'm sure you feel hopeless by the racism going on in America right now. No more senseless killings of human beings. No more seeing people of color as less than human. We can no longer look away. George is all of our family and humanity. He's our family because he's a fellow American. There have been too many times that we've seen these violent killings and no consequences. Yes, someone's been charged, but justice is far from being achieved. Please sign a petition and continue to pray for peace and compassion and healing for our country. Thank you so much. Lizzo said all she wants is equality. It's always white people using the term race war. We don't want that sh We want what we've always wanted from the beginning of being in this country. The same rights that all these other people have. It's not that difficult. Khaled spoke about change. Why do we feel unsafe around the people who are supposed to protect us? We suffer, but it's time for that narrative to change. To be black in America, where they love your music, culture, but are afraid to walk on the same sidewalk as you. Black women and men, you are beautiful. Black voices matter. Black philanthropists matter. Black teachers matter. Black artists matter. Black social workers matter. Black lives matter. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, and forever. Lil Nas X spoke about the protests. Protesters, please wear protective eyewear. People are losing their eyes to rubber bullets. They do not care if you're peaceful or not. This riot protest situation is the same as a child being bullied at school. You were silent while they are being mistreated, but upset when they finally snap back. Had you spoke up while they were being mistreated, they wouldn't have had to snap back. Silence equals complicity. Jason Derulo said he's had enough. The sad part, is that this kind of thing happens every single day. And most of the time it's unnoticed. It's time for us all to come together. We're in a state of emergency. I'm afraid for my life. I'm afraid for my family's life, my friend's life. 
we have to all come together we have to let our voices be heard enough is enough if you are white hispanic uh any race it, it doesn't matter and you're my friend you're my fan if you stay silent you're part of the problem let's come together y'all Kalani spoke about the protesting and rioting. It's not about pulling up anywhere doing anything. It's pulling up to the right things. We want results. They add up for results. Kalani also urged everyone to contribute to the situation. People with platforms speaking up are fish that are swimming. You do not and should not have to thank us for doing what the f any and every citizen of this country should be doing, regardless of status in this moment, and that's contribute on the most basic levels. Tinashe shared a photo of a protest and said, The media don't want you to see the peaceful protests. Ice-T shared a video of a peaceful protest in Minneapolis and called attention to the variety of people protesting. Please notice all the colors of the fists. This is a huge moment. The people have had enough. Nicki Minaj spoke about injustice. When four black thugs commit a crime, if one person commits murder, they all get charged and convicted. When white thugs, cops, kill innocent black people, all four of them are responsible. They all watched an unarmed man die and did nothing. Why do they have different rules? Let your voice be heard. Be angry. White people have been using violence against us since the beginning of time. We didn't invent violence and looting. Will these officers actually get convicted? Probably not. Let your voice be heard. Call and text to be part of these petitions. May Mr. Floyd rest in peace. Tori Linez asked celebrities to stop sharing anti-protest posts. If anybody is a celebrity bro, stop using your platform to come up here and say anything that's against what the people in the streets are saying. If you're not out there bro, if you're not out there protesting and marching with these people all day without your security money and without the other extra money, then you shouldn't be talking bro. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't have a voice in this. And until you, until you go out and do that, until you go out and study, until you go out and really understand what the f is going on out here in our community, bro, just stop, just, just get off Twitter, Talk to your PR, ask your PR what you should say. Jackie Ina called attention to brands not speaking out. There are a lot of brands who love capitalizing on black culture, black music, black aesthetic, but are dead silent when it comes to talking about black issues and black struggles in our community. So just as much as y'all love hanging out with Ty Dolla Sign and Sweetie and Black Chinas, can y'all at least say something when black people are being brutally murdered? by cops, donate to families affected by this stuff. Revolve, Pretty Little Thing, Fashion Nova. Like the memes that you guys are posting on your pages, it's not gonna cut it. Like do more. Don't just be present when it's time to be lit <laughs> on the gram. <laughs> You've done your part and at least donated to the families and raised awareness. Tomorrow you can go back to posting your tanned girls who blackfish on your feeds but right now let's talk about more important stuff thanks the i only date black guys club y'all know mainly black men are the ones being affected by this right where y'all at where y'all at Two out of the three brands Jackie Ina mentioned, Revolve and Pretty Little Thing, eventually made a post about the Black Lives Matter movement. Jackie Ina also praised campaigns that allowed her to pause their sponsorships during this sensitive time. She shouted out Dermalogica as one of the supportive brands. John Boyega attended a protest at Hyde Park in London, England, and shared a speech with the protesters. Black lives have always mattered. We have always been important. We have always meant something. We have always succeeded. Regardless. And now is the time. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. I need, I need you guys to understand. I need you to understand how, how painful this is. I need you to understand how painful it is. To be reminded every day that your race means nothing. And that isn't the case anymore. We are a physical representation of our support for George Floyd. It's very, very important that we keep control in this moment and we make this as peaceful as possible. Exactly. They want us to mess up. They want us to be disorganized. But not today. Not today. Halsey called out some people going against the outrage. If you are not black, you couldn't possibly understand the grief, fear, and anger of black people right now. Don't condemn folks expressing their outrage. Don't tweet what you would do if it were you, because it's not you. It never has been you. You don't know. It's not black people's job to educate you on how to not be a racist. Be a grown up and a decent human being and let people focus their energy on their community, not on babying you. Holy 
Halsey also participated in the protest and spoke out about the dangers. Fired rubber bullets at us. We did not breach the line. Hands were up, unmoving, and they gassed and fired. Do not underplay these rubber bullets because you have been told they are not lethal. I had to bandage a man who looked like his entire face had exploded today. So before you say, from the comfort of your home, that we're exaggerating, please consider the injuries some have suffered. Kiki Palmer attended a protest in LA and asked members of the National Guard to march in solidarity with protesters. March beside us! March beside us! Let the revolution be televised! March beside us and show us that you're here for us! Make history with us, please! I can't leave this post. I will march through this street with you guys to that next intersection. But I have to control this area. Control. If it's you that's supposed to be controlling us, then walk with us. I'm also protecting some of these businesses. Okay. Okay. Can you take a kneel? I don't know. They ain't enough for me. They ain't enough for me. Many people were impressed with Kiki and wanted to vote for her for president. Smaller black influencers also spoke up. Instagrammer Cam gave a powerful message about how black people have to be careful in public. Don't put your hands in your pockets. Don't put your hoodie on. Don't be outside with no shirt on. Check in with your people. It don't matter even if you're down the street. Don't be out too late. Don't touch anything you're not buying. Never leave the store without a receipt or a bag, even if it's just a pack of gum. Never make it look like there's an altercation between you and someone else. Never leave the house without your ID. Don't drive with a wife beat on. Don't drive with a do-rag on. Don't go out in public with neither. Don't ride with the music too loud. Don't stare at a Caucasian woman. If a cop stops you randomly and start questioning you, don't talk back. Just compromise. If you ever get pulled over, hands on the dashboard, and ask, could you get out your license and registration? TikToker Ava spoke about some people's choice to be ignorant. TikTok is not the place I want to be as of now to discuss Black Lives Matter because some people just refuse to be educated and refuse to learn. They want to remain ignorant because ignorance is a bliss because you're not the one being targeted. If you can't see why Black Americans are saying Black Lives Matter, it's because you're killing us like we don't. The amount of times unarmed Black people have been killed by police is ridiculous. And if you don't want to look into that statistic and you don't want to understand how that is something that shouldn't even exist in the first place, then I know I don't know what to tell you. This is something undebatable, and I'm doing more outside of TikTok. Many non-Black celebrities and influencers contributed as well. Ariana Grande attended a protest in LA. Madison Beer also attended a protest in LA. Justin Bieber shared this quote, They'd rather let the nation burn than arrest three of their own. Let that sink in. Billie Eilish asked white people to stop making it about them. If I hear one more white person say all lives matter, one more time, I'm gonna lose my mind. All you mother do is find a way to make everything about yourself. You are not in need. You are not in danger. If your friend gets a cut on their arm, are you going to wait to give all your friends a band-aid first because all arms matter? No. You're going to help your friend because they are in pain, because they are in need, because they are bleeding. If someone's house was on fire and someone is stuck in the house, are you going to make the fire department go to every other house on the block first because all houses matter? No, because they don't need it. Society gives you privilege just for being white. If all lives matter, why are black people killed for just being black? The slogan of Black Lives Matter does not mean other lives don't. It's calling attention to the fact that society clearly thinks black lives don't matter. And they do. It means black lives matter. Harry Styles said he was donating to help post bail for arrested organizers and spoke about privilege. I do things every day without fear, because I am privileged, and I am privileged every day because I am white. Being not racist is not enough. We must be anti-racist. Social change is enacted when a society mobilizes. I stand in solidarity with all of those protesting. Nikita Dragon shared a quote, I am not black, but I will stand with you. I am not black, but I will fight for you. I am not black, but I will defend you. I am not black, but I see you. I am not black, but I value you. Black lives matter. 
James Charles asked protesters to stay safe. If you're protesting today, please stay safe. Please wear protective eyewear and clothing. And if you're white, your job is to use your privilege and be a protective shield for black people, not to incite violence. Jacqueline Hill said, it breaks my heart and disgusts me that we live in a world where people are judged, oppressed, and murdered because of the color of their skin. Enough is enough. Change needs to happen. Black Lives Matter. Justice for George Floyd. Jeffree Star offered to donate to help rebuild black-owned businesses that have been destroyed in the riots. Jeffrey also said, Why the f are the other three officers not charged yet? Justice for George Floyd. David Dobrik participated in a protest in Santa Monica and donated $50,000 to organizations to help the movement. PewDiePie shared the memorial fund for Floyd and said, No one should ever have to die like this. Jenna Marbles asked for change. This is not a political issue. This is a human rights issue. This is systematic racism and oppression at the hands of law enforcement in our country. We want justice and we want change. It shouldn't have happened once and it should never happen again. This is not a discussion. Tana Mojo spoke about white privilege and named other black victims that couldn't peacefully do normal everyday activities. I have privilege as a white person because I can do all of these things without thinking twice. I can go birding, Christian Cooper. I can go jogging, Ahmaud Arbery. I can relax in the comfort of my own home, Botham Jean and Tatiana Jefferson. I can ask for help after being in a car crash, Jonathan Farrell and Renisha McBride. I can have a cell phone, Stefan Clark. I can leave a party to get to safety, Jordan Edwards. I can play loud music, Jordan Davis. I can sell CDs, Alton Sterling. I can sleep, Ayanna Jones. I can walk from the corner store, Mike Brown. I can play cops and robbers, Tamir Rice. I can go to church, Charleston Nine. I can walk home with Skittles, Trayvon Martin. I can hold a hairbrush while leaving my own bachelor party, Sean Bell. I can party on New Year's, Oscar Grant. I can get a normal traffic ticket, Sandra Bland. I can lawfully carry a weapon, Philando Castile. I can break down on a public road with car problems, Corey Jones. I can shop at Walmart, John Crawford. I can have a disabled vehicle, Terrence Crutcher. I can read a book in my own car, Keith Scott. I can be a 10-year-old walking with our grandfather, Clifford Glover. I can decorate for a party, Claude Reese. I can ask a cop a question, Randy Evans. I can cash a check in peace, Yvonne Smallwood. I can take out my wallet, Amadou Dilo. I can run, Walter Scott. I can breathe, Eric Garner. I can live, Fred Gray. I can be arrested without the fear of being murdered, George Floyd. White privilege is real. Take a minute to consider a black person's experience today. Reposting this from Aspie Novard because it truly brought me to tears to read yesterday. The privilege I automatically have waking up each day is something I never want to take for granted or not speak out on with the platform I have. If you support me and are on any racist Hit unfollow. I will be donating and adding a link to help to my bio and continuing to talk about it until there is a change, until people are convicted for murder, until people are treated equally and not differently or live. Logan Paul attended a protest and spread a powerful message on his podcast, Impulsive. Listen closely. One of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Police officers, politicians, policymakers. As Killer Mike said, bully the politicians at the voting booth. Make your vo voice heard, attend a protest, speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are blind, you are delusional, and you are part of the problem. I can count on zero hands the amount of times that I have feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. That has never happened. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hooligan shit I do in my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. I'm confident that I do not have to fear for my life should the cops show up. Acknowledge and weaponize your privilege. I believe we're going to a protest today. You can bet your I'll be in the front line. Knowing all this about America, its racially charged background, its inability to truly treat humans as equals, even after 244 years since its inception, we must now work towards finding the solution.
And if you are an influencer or celebrity friend of mine, I hope you are using your platform to continue to spread the message of solidarity and unity. I do not have all the answers, but I know we must now reverse engineer the system as a collective. We must open our eyes and realize that there is only one race, and that is the human race. On behalf of Brianna Taylor, we must change. On behalf of Ahmed Aubrey, we must advance. And on behalf of George Floyd and the hundreds of others who have been unjustly murdered in this country, we must evolve. Charlie D'Amelio informed her TikTok fan base of the issue. As a person who has been given the platform to be an influencer, I have realized that with that title, I have a job to inform people on the racial inequalities in the world right now. How come when it comes to the color of a person's skin, they're treated differently? A man was killed, his life was ended. Don't kill me, George Floyd says as his last words. His life should not be over and his name needs to be heard. George Floyd, a father and a person, a human who lost their life because of the color of their skin. We, people of all colors, need to speak up at a time like this. We all have a voice. We need to stand up for what is right and stick together. Bryce Hall asked some influencers to stop taking advantage of the situation. With all due respect, some influencers should just shut up and keep their opinions to themselves. You can't influence this situation. Let the people be. You all have been heard. Change is coming. Stop using this situation as a content frenzy. Holy f Danielle Kahn posted several photos showing support for Black Lives. There are also many videos of protesters or innocent people passing by getting wrongfully arrested. Halsey shared a compilation of videos showing the violent conditions peaceful protesters were going through and said, What you don't see is innocent peaceful protesters being shot at and tear-gassed and physically assaulted relentlessly. You think it's not happening. You're wrong. This is happening everywhere. I have first-hand treated men, women, and children who have been shot in the chest, the face, and the back. Some will lose vision. Some have lost fingers. I have been covered in innocent blood. Kathleen Lights shared a video of a peaceful black man protesting, getting wrongfully arrested. We're better than that. We are all people. All of you are my family. All of you are my family. I love each and every one of you. I cry at night because I feel your pain. I feel the pain. I feel the pain of black people. I feel the pain of white people. I feel the pain of innocent cops. I feel the pain. We're all scared. Black, white, talk, doesn't matter. We're all scared. We're living in fear. We gotta stop living in fear. I am not your enemy. You are not my enemy. We have to share this land no matter what. Do you wanna make a change? Because if we charge you and you charge us, what is that really doing? What is that really doing? What is that really doing? What is doing? Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you kidding me? For what? For what? Writer Daniel Chun shared a video of a wrongful arrest of black store owners. Just now in LA, cops show up to a store that requested help against looters and immediately put the black store owners in handcuffs. Someone shared a video of an innocent black man addressing other protesters that was aggressively pulled back by the police. Some cop cars were driving into the protest crowds. Non-black people were also targeted. Cole Sprouse spoke about being arrested while explaining how police were behaving at protests. I was detained when standing in solidarity, as were many of the final vanguard within Santa Monica. We were given the option to leave and were informed that if we did not retreat, we would be arrested. When many did turn to leave, we found another line of police officers blocking our route, at which point they started zip-tying us. It needs to be stated that as a straight white man and a public figure, the institutional consequences of my detention payment are nothing in comparison to others within the movement. This is absolutely not a narrative about me, and I hope the media doesn't make it such. One man that was leaving the protest to go to his car was dragged off by the police. You're next. 
Despite many people asking for change, some people had different messages. Ex Miss Universe Malaysia, Samantha Brahmacharini, received backlash for saying, To the black people, relax. Take it as a challenge. Makes you stronger. You choose to be born as a colored person in America for a reason. To learn a certain lesson. Accept it as it is. Till now, hunger and poverty still exists. It is what it is. It's inevitable. Best you can do is remain calm, protect heart, don't allow it to crumble. That's your responsibility. TikToker Zoe Laverne addressed why she couldn't speak out on the current events. Because I am in a racial problem right now, a people accusing me of saying the N-word. And people can twist my words and make me seem like I'm doing it for clout or something else. But I have a management team that has to watch what I post and I have to send to them and ask them if I can post certain things. I posted all of my awareness on my story and I even made a TikTok about it that I can't post yet. One influencer that got a lot of backlash was Jake Paul. Jake's videographer, Andrew Blue, documented their experience walking through the rioting and looting in Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall. People began reposting Andrew's videos and accusing Jake of looting and capitalizing off the situation for attention. Jake Paul later posted a note explaining what really happened. To be absolutely clear, neither I nor anyone in our group was engaged in any looting or vandalism. For context, we spent the day doing our part to peacefully protest. We filmed everything we saw in an effort to share our experience and bring more attention to the anger felt in every neighborhood we traveled through. On June 4th, ABC 15 Arizona reported that Jake Paul was charged by police in Scottsdale with criminal trespassing and unlawful assembly, both misdemeanor charges. Police say he was issued a summons to appear in court in a month, but was not arrested. Jake responded to the charges on Twitter, Give me my charges and let's put the focus back on George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. On June 1st, Nickelodeon, a channel focused on children's programming, aired a powerful statement about supporting Black Lives Matter. It opened with an explanation and spoke about kids' rights. Nickelodeon is going off the air for 8 minutes and 46 seconds in support of justice, equality, and human rights. Nickelodeon Declaration of Kids' Rights You have the right to be seen, heard, and respected as a citizen of the world. You have the right to a world that is peaceful. You have the right to be treated with equality, regardless of the color of your skin. You have the right to be protected from harm, injustice, and hatred. You have the right to an education that prepares you to run the world. You have the right to your opinions and feelings, even if others don't agree with them. At 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, Nickelodeon and other Viacom CBS networks like MTV and Comedy Central aired a commercial with Floyd's plea, I Can't Breathe, and heavy breathing playing in the background. The commercial goes on for 8 minutes and 46 seconds, the length of time Floyd's neck was knelt on. Jamila Thomas, senior director of Atlantic Records, and Brianna Ajimang, former Atlantic Records executive, organized a day of silent protest on June 2nd called Blackout Tuesday. The organizers asked those who work in music, entertainment, and show business to not conduct business as usual and instead spend time reflecting on how to support the Black community. So far, three major music groups, Warner Music Group, Sony Music, and Universal Music Group, have pledged support. Also on June 2nd, Ben and Jerry Aries put out a powerful statement about white supremacy. Silence is not an option. The murder of George Floyd was the result of inhumane police brutality that is perpetrated by a culture of white supremacy. What happened to George Floyd was not the result of a bad apple. It was the predictable consequence of a racist and prejudiced system and culture that has treated black bodies as the enemy from the beginning. What happened to George Floyd in Minneapolis is the fruit born of toxic seeds planted on the shores of our country in Jamestown in 1619 when the first enslaved men and women arrived on this continent. Floyd is the latest in a long list of names that stretches back to that time and that shore. Some of those names we know, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Oscar Grant, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, Emmett Till, Martin Luther King Jr. Most, we don't. Ben and Jerry's also listed four steps to dismantling white supremacy. By June 3rd, CNN announced that all 50 states held George Floyd protests. Floyd's six-year-old daughter, Gianna, commented on the impact. He did what? That changed the world. That changed the world. 
You can now support the Floyd family by donating to the official GoFundMe page, where all funds will go to Gianna's care and future. As the protests continue to happen, more celebrities and influencers may continue to speak up. But for now, this was a start with some very powerful voices. If you would like to be a part of the change, please check out blacklivesmatter.card.co for a list of resources on how you can help, including links to petitions and information on how to safely protest. The website also shares recent stories of racial injustice and a list of other black lives that were wrongfully taken. Philanese Floyd, George's brother, has set up a memorial fund for George that you can donate to at gofundme.com slash f slash George Floyd. We will also include in the description box a thread of Black-owned businesses that have been affected by the protests that you can help, and a thread of lawyers offering free or pro bono services for those arrested while protesting. If you are not able to donate money or go protest, YouTuber Zoe Amira has made a video that you can stream to help donate. All ad revenue from her video goes to Black Lives Matter organizations and protester bail funds. If you have a Sephora account, you can donate your Beauty Insider points to the National Black Justice Coalition. All of these resources will be linked in the description box below.